My name's Stuart Bell, I'm the East Area BCU Commander uh, responsible for policing this area of London. Um, I'm going to be making a statement about the events that happened here this morning. Um, it is a prepared statement and afterwards I won't be taking any questions and if I do I'll be referring back to the information in the statement. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today and this first story comes from London. It's a very big story that has got a lot of coverage but at the same time there is a lot of questions that are still remaining over the, what occurred. Tuesday the 30th of April, video footage circulated on social media showing a man climbing over houses with a sword and police shouting to tell people to shut their doors. Oi! Oi! Come this way! Yeah. Oi! Hey! He's going to people's gardens, man. Lock your doors! Lock your doors! Everyone, lock your doors! It has now been revealed that this man was going on what they would describe as a rampage. A 14 year old boy was murdered, and five people were injured, and two of them were police officers. Doorbell footage also shows the moment that the suspect was tasered by police and taken into custody. The official police statement today, a man has been charged with the murder of 14 year old Daniel Adjurin in Hanolt, East London. Marcus Monzo, 36 years old, who is a dual Spanish Brazilian national who lives in Newham, will appear at the magistrate's court today on Thursday the 2nd of May. A further four people, including two police officers, were seriously injured and Monzo was charged with two counts of attempted murder, two counts of GBH, aggravated burglary and possession of a bladed article, which was namely a sword. The family of those affected have also been contacted by the police and have been supported. Detective Chief Inspector Larry Smith, who was investigating, said... This is an incredibly tragic incident and this has resulted in the young boy losing his life and his family are devastated and we would like to send our condolences to them and also ask that their privacy is respected at this time. This is a very complex investigation due to a number of different crime scenes. Forensic evidence is being gathered, hours of CCTV footage will be viewed and witnesses will need to be spoken to. The police said that they know that many people want answers and they are working to provide them and they also hear calls for patients as officers carry out painstaking investigations to deliver justice for Daniel's family. They are starting to build a picture they said about what had occurred on Tuesday and they thank everybody that has came forward to help them and also to bring evidence for the investigation. The Guardian newspaper also reported that the man had a history of mental health illnesses and I'm not sure what these were or how long they were going on for but this is definitely something that we'll have to investigate and will be part of the case. In a police press conference that took place yesterday the police said that he was tasered and arrested 22 minutes after the first call to the police at 7am on Tuesday. The police said they want to reiterate at this present moment they don't believe there is any ongoing threat to the wider public. They are not looking for any other suspects and they don't believe that the incident is terror related. Two members of the public are currently in hospital and the two Met officers are also in hospital with stab wounds. Both require surgery and have significant injuries that are not life threatening. So this is a fast developing story and I want to send my condolences to the family of Daniel. And please pay your respects in the comments. We'll definitely keep you updated on this story. And don't forget as well that I've been recently sharing this study from Birmingham City University to find out your views on mental health defences in the courtroom. And I'd really appreciate it if you took five minutes of your time to be able to fill this in and to help with this study to try to help in future maybe cases similar to this. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. And everyone across the Met is keeping them in our thoughts at this unimaginably difficult time. The events of this morning are truly horrific. 
and I cannot even begin to imagine how those affected must be feeling. My thoughts are with the injured, their families and the wider community as we all begin to come to terms with what has happened and try to understand what has happened here. I know that there will be clearly and understandably a desire for answers and an explanation as to what happened. Our investigation is in its very early stages and my officers are, are working right now to establish the full facts as a priority and we will share what we can when we can uh, with the wider community and of course with yourselves. A 36-year-old is currently in custody. He was tasered here at the scene and arrested 22 minutes after the first call was made to police shortly before 7am this morning. I want to confirm at present that we do not believe there is any ongoing threat to the wider public and we're not seeking any other persons. The incident does not appear to be linked to any act of terrorism. We know now that during the incident, five people were injured, three members of the public and two of my local officers who were responding to the call. Two of those members of the public remain in hospital. Um, thankfully, their injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. The two Met Police officers are also currently in hospital with stab wounds. Both require surgery and have significant injuries, but we believe at this stage that they were not life-threatening. I commend the incredible bravery of not just the police officers, but the other emergency responders who came to this scene this morning. I would ask anyone with information or any footage that would help us with this investigation to share that and call 101, please. I know the families of those involved, the local and wider community, and many across London will want to know why this terrible incident occurred. And it's our job to find that out, and we will. I am committed to providing those answers when we can, and I would ask for some patience while this important work is carried out. Thank you for your time.